about that, folks? Woo! That's a hot show. Please welcome out the writer and director, Dan Gilroy, and the star of Roman J. Israel Esquire, Denzel Washington. Congratulations to you both. That is a heck of a picture. I mean, just fantastic. Wh what are, where did it come from? Where did the story come from? I'm old enough to remember the 60s, and uh, I remember millions and millions of people uh, committed to different causes and fighting for things, and it just seemed over the decades many of them sort of filtered away, and I was always interested in the idea of somebody who stayed on the, the, the battlefield and never left and what the cost of that might be. And what attracted you to the, this part? Dan, <laughs> uh, I obviously, uh, and thank you, wrote a brilliant script. Uh, and, uh, you know, if it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage. And uh, it was as simple as that. I read it, and, 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 I, and you know, I, I knew Dan's work, and we talked about it a lot. And uh, I flew to New York. We met for a oh, lunch. Oh, that's right. That's right. And an hour in, you stuck your hand out, and you Is said, let's right? do this movie. Well, and well, there's not a lot of people you can trust to do that, but well, I trusted you. Yeah. Glad I did. How was the, the collaboration? I mean, it's such a um, lived-in character. I mean, you really feel that he's real. I can fill in a couple of spaces. Starting from that lunch, we started, that was a year before we started shooting. We had many discussions going into it. And then the pre-production and the, uh, the downstairs, our production designer set up a recreation of Roman's apartment. With the recliner, the music. So for over a month, we would meet every day and we would go through the records and put on songs and we would talk. And it was really discussions about the character, about the script, and, and certain things just started to get revealed. It was a very deep collaboration that continued through shooting, through post-production, which Denzel was very much involved in. And, uh, and it's a collaboration that I think is very, very evident on, on what we see. He's challenged in his own beliefs and, and, and the, the, the chance of success, and, the, and he has to, to decide. And I, I, I'm interested in that sort of that exploration of that. The film for me, and I think the film through our discussions very much came down to the idea of, of the burden and blessing of believing in something and, and, and the importance of believing in something greater than yourself, how truly important that is, and what can happen when that gets let go and the struggle to try to get back to that, the deep struggle because it becomes a spiritual battle ultimately, the, the, the spiritual nature of, of, of what drives you and wakes you up in the morning and the loss of that. And, and Roman is somebody who he says, I said, I never left the front lines. And because of that, he is out of his time. And uh, I think Carmen Ajogo's character, Maya, says it very clearly. You, we stand on people like this, your shoulders. This, this is a character for me. It was somebody you could walk, walk by in the street and not really give a second, second look. And it's, just, it's true of all of us. And not knowing the gifts, not knowing the struggle, not knowing the contributions that the person could make. It's a dramatic transformation uh, physically in the film. Uh, as an actor, I mean, how is it difficult to go in that direction? I mean, you're, you've, you've no, that direction's easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult now. The other direction. Uh... The idea of standing on the yeah. shoulders of, of what happened in the '60s yeah. seems so relevant uh, in the in the, the time. Do you read the film that way? Do you, do you see how it connects with the modern day? We've landed there. There was never, it was not the intent. I started writing this several years ago. And it's, it's, it's not really about the label of, of, of where you land on the political spectrum. It's really ultimately about do you believe in something? And, and what is the cost of that? And what is the blessing of that? And what happens when you lose that? I think, I think anybody who hears the call to do more will see themselves in the character, regardless of where they are, politically or otherwise. 